Okay guys, in today's video, we will be counting down the top 5 strongest builds in War Robots Frontiers as of right now. Okay, let's jump right into it. Okay, so coming in 5th place is the Bulwark with the Tier Chassis and 2 Zeus's, okay? An energy Shield and a Homing Missile is what I'm going with for the 2 modules. Now, you guys might be asking, why don't you just use the normal Bulwark, um... Torso, and the reason for this is because the tier torso will allow you to heal yourself, like I'm doing right here. So when someone's shooting at me and I'm at really low health, I can just go back into cover, heal, and get back out of cover and shoot back at them. And it makes you survive for a very long time. And this will also make you be able to do even some brawling stuff that most snipers can't do. So you can brawl against people with this because you have that regenerating. And on top of that, you have an energy shield and a homing missile, which does a crap ton of damage. You can kill almost an entire robot's armor with the homing missile. So you do the homing missile, you shoot them down with your Zeus a couple times, and then boom, you win. And if they hit you with any damage, you just reheal yourself with the tier ability. Now, this robot is really powerful. However, the reason why it's not higher on this list is I think the Zeus's don't do a. Uh, a crazy amount of damage i also think that this is a very sniper oriented setup and there are just a few better options out there actually there's only one better option out there but there is a better option out there and in my opinion this is a really strong setup and as you can see it can work in close range combat like right now it is really strong but sometimes it just doesn't do the amount of damage that you're looking for okay guys so fourth place we have the lancelot Okay, and we have a Bulgazari Chastis, okay? And we have an Energy Shield and Reginate Armor uh, for the modules. Now, this is, in my opinion, a mid-range setup and is a very strong one, may I add. Um, this is a very powerful setup. You just have to use it right. You can't go super close range with these. However, if you do, that's why they're the two shredders there because you can really shred people up at close range. Like right now, this guy's getting absolutely wrecked because of the shredders and the shredders really do add that quite that extra bit of damage that you need at close range now some of you might be asking okay so why are you having a bulgazari chassis and the reason for that bulgazari chassis so you can carry two shredders and uh punisher two punishers so that allows you to carry more weight and i think it also allows you to carry more energy which makes it so you can have that reginate armor which is incredibly crucial you need to have a way to reheal yourself and this is not just a lancelot for any robot in the game you want to look for survivability and this module right here is the best survivability you can get out of any robot um but yes this is a very very strong setup i would recommend it for beginner players because it is a pretty accessible um it's a pretty accessible robot for a beginner player since you already have the bulgazari chassis when you start the game However, I don't think this will be your hop, top priority as I have a few others on this list that do the job just as well, but even better. So, yep, yeah, but this is definitely a very strong build and I highly recommend it. Okay, so coming in third place, I actually made a very recent video on this, is the Viridian with Orchids, okay? The modules will be an energy shield and regenerate armor just like the last one. You guys are going to see a theme I consistently use the same modules on each robot especially for robots that have the same um the same places so so the Viridian is another mid-range setup you don't want to get too close because then people will shred you up like right there that was a very big mistake of me to get too close the reason why it's a mid-range is because you can stay back shoot unload your entire clip of organs go back in the cover Five seconds later, you unload a huge more clip of organs, and it really does a huge amount of damage. And one thing I think organs do really well is, I mean, when teammates are fighting the enemies you're fighting, when you're shooting them with organs, you're destroying all of the rocket plates. Because you're not just shooting at one rocket plate, like, um, I mean, one armor plate, like other weapons. When you're shooting organs, you're hitting all of the armor plates on the robots, which damages the robot completely in all areas. And it makes it really powerful for team play with also the Varigian having the dome shield, which is really important, guys. This dome shield really does help your team out because, for example, let's say you're fighting at a center beacon and a Titan is shooting down rockets from above. 
they are going to have no way to protect yourselves. So you can place the dome shield and you have an impenetrable dome for around nine seconds that blocks any firepower. Now, the thing you want to uh, pay attention to is when someone tries to get into your shield, get out of the shield because the shield will still block them. You need a border of the shield to protect you. As long as you're a border, inside or out, as long as you have a border between you and the enemy, the enemy will still be blocked firepower. That's all that matters. So you don't have to be inside the dome to be protected. You just have to make sure one of the borders is in between you and the enemy you are fighting. Okay, guys. So the next setup I have on this list is the most overpowered sniper in this game right now. Without a doubt. It is the Fury Trebuchet with Regenate Armor. Now, I ain't gonna lie, guys. This setup is probably going to get nerfed. This is by far the most powerful setup in the game right now. It has insane firepower. It, it, and the quick reload with the Fury, just instantly, you can three shot people with this. You can see right here, look at that. His armor plates are already damaged, just like that. And it is incredibly powerful. But I'm gonna warn you guys, you need a good amount of sk uh, skill to shoot this robot correctly because it is kind of hard to aim these trebuchets. Like as you can see right here, that takes a lot of skill, that shot right there. And you really, it took me a while to understand how to use this robot and these weapons. So you really kind of have to get better at aiming and, you know, kind of improve your skill set in terms of aiming as this game is all about aim. But by far, this is the most, these are the hardest weapons to aim in the game right now. Besides maybe the rail guns. The rail guns are also pretty trash to aim with. As you can see, I am just sniping. I'm taking control over the whole map. When you are doing this, no one's going to want to be able to see you. You don't want to play in sight with people if you're fighting a Fury Trebuchet. Now, one thing I got to warn you guys about is make sure to use that Regenate armor correctly. You don't want to use that as soon as you take a tiny spec. When your armor plates are seriously damaged, at least halfway damaged, that's when you will use that Regenate armor to repair yourself. And so you can get back in the game and you can still fight others. Now, do not go into brawling action with this thing. Unlike the Zeus uh, bulwark with the tier chassis, I mean, a uh, tier torso, this, the bulwark, you can kind of go into a little bit of a brawling, the bulwark with Zeus. But this, you can't go into any brawling because you only have one module available. Um, the bulwark has two. So you can't brawl with this, but you have to stay back with the setup. But if you just stay back and chill out and just kill everyone in your plane sight and you have perfect aim, this is the robot for you. And as you can see, I'm just wrecking every single person on this map right now. I'm about to hit six kills, which is the max amount of kills you can get in this game within a co consecutive section. Look at that. Quick, quick reload. And then he, his entire robot is almost gone. Entirely. And a no scope to finish it off. Six kills back to back to back in a single robot. And if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't taken a speck of damage. Not even a tiny bit of damage. And it is so incredibly powerful. If this guy wasn't standing in front of him, I actually would have killed him with this robot. But either way, guys, if you are looking for a sniper and you have really good aim, get the Fury Trebuchet. It is so powerful, you're not going to regret it. However, it might get nerfed, but I don't believe it's going to be nerfed as even if it is get nerfed, it's still going to be a really strong weapon setup. Now, as you can see, I have 1 million damage right now. Now, one thing you have to be cautious about is this. You might not always get MVP with this robot because you're not capturing beacons. You're not brawling. You're only doing critical amounts of damage, which I like. I like doing damage. I don't really I don't really like doing beacons. My playstyle is doing the most amount of damage I have. And if you are like that, you can really do well with this bot. Our next robot is the Ares with Shredders and a Regenerate Armor and an Energy Shield. And we also have a Bulgazari Chassis to carry all that weight and all that energy so this setup is our, uh, by far the most overpowered setup in the game it is not even close now i said the fury is the most overpowered setup in the game and yes it is in terms of sniping but this close range will absolutely shred through your enemies there is not a single robot in this game that can beat this robot in a 1v1 you can go into a fight 1v3 these guys like i'm doing right here i'm going to kill around five people back to back back to back to back look at this i'm fighting a bulwark um thunder one of the most powerful setups you want in the game you don't want to get close to those but look at this i just have my energy shield i'm absolutely shredding through these guys and i'm in the base i'm in their base look at this 
absolutely insane setup guys if you are looking for like an insane brawler absolutely get this you can also run the aries with scourge now the scourge is also really strong but the scourge only works at really close range um you don't you can't really shoot from a fur further distance with the scourge like i wouldn't shoot over 100 meters if you shoot over 100 meters of scourge you're gonna barely do any damage so I, that's why i actually slightly prefer the shredders but if you are all about face hugging distance like right now right now look at that damage i am doing to this guy it is insane how quickly he goes down with the scourges and right here we have back to the shredder with like it's just crazy powerful i don't expect this robot to get a nerf because in my opinion it's not just one thing like on the fury trebuchet the fury isn't that powerful but the trebuchet is what makes power this thing all around is a powerful robot and i ain't gonna lie you can run any single setup on aries and you will come out on top oh you guys i hope you enjoyed my top five best setups in war robots frontiers as of right now obviously the game is still early in development so this is just for you guys to know what robots to go for if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more ranking videos make sure you go down in the comments let me know and hit the subscribe button if you like the video all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace out